Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of finding the composite area of a rectangle. This is standard 3.6D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So this is still area of a rectangle, but this composite simply means that we're going to take two different areas. We're going to add them together. Now, here's the nice thing about area is that it is, uh, the big term is additive. And it literally means we can just take this picture here, this flower garden. You see we've got a garden right here. So that's our garden. I'm going to outline that in green. So this is our garden. And then we've got a square section of the garden. I'm going to outline that as well. All we need to do, since that's not really a, a shape that we're familiar with, all we need to do is break it down right here. We're going to pretend like we cut it down in half, and we take our rectangle. We're going to find the area of that rectangle, and all we have to do is add it to the area of the square, and we're good. So you can just take those two little pieces, break them up, find the individual area, and then Put them back together so let's see what we can find here so the area of a square let's start with that because it's a little bit smaller so that's well let's see i'm going to draw the lines here here we go so it looks like i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen okay so i've got sixteen and then those are little feet so i'm going to put square feet i'm going to abbreviate that with sq and FT, that also means square feet. So this is 16. Now you see I drew the lines. I could do that for the rectangle, but I'm afraid my lines will get a little bit wavy because I don't have a ruler. So here's what we need to understand about area. How many squares do we have along the bottom? Four. How many squares do we have along the side? Four. I'll put that right here. So what we need to know is that when you're looking for the area, you can count the squares. Or if you know the length and the width, you can multiply them because that's the shortcut for area. Length times width. So the 16 was really 4 times 4. So if that's the case, for our big rectangle, I don't need to draw all of those lines. I could if I wanted to. What happens if I just find the length and the width and just multiply them? So let's say I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's another width the four let's see what this length looks like it's going to be pretty big one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so we got to think about it i've got ten groups of four so i've got four 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 all the way down i could do repeated addition or i could do ten times four and that's going to make 40 that's an easy fact but it's not just 40 remember we are dealing with areas so it's 40 square feet. You can write it SQFT. You can write it like you have right here. Or another way to write it would be 40. Sometimes you'll see it like this when you get a bit older. Feet and then that little two up there means squared. So we've got two different options here. I've got my 16 and I've got my 40. I don't see either of them but Let's not get too excited. Let's not choose this not here, even though that is kind of an enticing offer. Remember what I said we needed to do. We needed to find the area of a, the square, but then we also needed to find the area of the rectangle, and that is 40 square feet. And then we needed to add them together. So if I take my, because remember, this is your 16 right here, and this is your 40 right here. So the entire area, because they're both part of the garden, not just one, they're both part, is going to be 40 plus 16, and that makes 56. So these two numbers are much too large. Uh, this 80 comes from if you did the 10, and if you did it times 8. But that includes an area that's not really there. So 80 is not good, not here. Is not good. The answer is A.